boy! Today is gonna be splendid. Let me tell you what, we're out here at Performance East. Check it out, baby. And just from pulling up, they have a lot of machines in stock. Now, we are riding the Outlander. We're picking up the broken Outlander today. It is fixed and we're gonna get it back out. It hasn't been rode in for the last time it was at Busco. That's when I sunk it. No water actually got in the motor, but we did run into some issues, but it's ready to rip and roar. So we're gonna take it to Busco today. We got the Honda on the trailer. The Rubicon's looking nice and pretty, baby. I've been riding that thing a ton and it's gonna be really different hopping back up on the Outlander. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. You guys know me, I'm super busy all the time, like a lot of you guys are, and it's hard eating healthy and fresh food. As easy as it is just to stop and get fast food, it is not good for you. I've teamed up with HelloFresh to make my life easier and to make yours. HelloFresh is a subscription-based company that sends fresh, high quality meat and food to your doors every month. Let's go ahead and open up the box. Not only do they send you high quality meats, but they send you all the ingredients to make all kinds of meals. But look at this stuff. Turkey stir fried tacos, hot tomato spaghetti with chicken, all kinds of easy to cook recipes and they lay it all out and make it simple. This is step by step. It's honestly probably quicker than watching a YouTube video. If you're trying to be like me and hit your New Year's goal this year, HelloFresh is here to help. Skip the grocery store, save time and money with HelloFresh sending Great recipe straight to your door. Look at all this meat we got. We got chicken breast strips, ground turkey, ground beef, and we got more. We have all the ingredients to all the recipes that was sent in my HelloFresh box. One of the things I love about HelloFresh is they make it super simple. Not only do they give you a piece of paper showing how to cook the food, but they have everything labeled perfectly. Not only is HelloFresh cheaper than the grocery store, but it's 25% cheaper than takeout, which to me, that's a no brainer. I eat way too much takeout and one of my New Year's resolutions was to get away from that. So we got all the ingredients out and I have the recipe right here so I can't mess it up. Let's get the whipping in the kitchen. One thing I love about HelloFresh is you don't have meat that's sitting in stores. This stuff's straight off the farm to your doorstep in seven days. Add our peppers in. Let them get sizzled down and soft. This smells so good. Look at how good this is looking. Dude, I'm chefing it up. I'm sitting here whipping in the kitchen. Thank the Lord for these instructions. It would not look like this. And just like that, we have finished one amazing, healthy, awesome taco. Bro, look at this thing. That's the prettiest thing I think I've ever cooked in my life. Let's give her a taste test. Oh my goodness, dude. You gotta get bite. Okay, that is fire. That is good. That is so good. I am so amazed. I'm telling you, this is so, so good. I can't believe I actually cooked it. This taco is better than anything I can buy in my local town. That is for sure. If you want 65% off your first meal with free shipping, use this code right here. I have HelloFresh linked down in the description. Maybe this year I'll lose a little bit of weight. We're looking good so far. I'm gonna finish off this taco. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Christian, what you think? I might be walking out with a new unit. New unit, it bro? It looks like they need some dude, off the dude, lot. Look at how many units there are. That is crazy, bro. They got Sportsmans, they got Outlanders, they got Defenders, they got everything except the Defender Limited I'm waiting on. <laughs> we'll be buying a bunch of new machines this year, so uh, it's gonna be pretty sick walking around and checking out what the future holds for 2023 and all the machines that we might be picking up. I don't know when, you know, it's just the stuff that we might be getting this year. I absolutely love that sign. That's a good sign. It's a good sign. Good sign. Good sign. Performance East, you guys know them. You guys know I love them. Everybody loves them. This place is my candy shop. Check out all the pit wheelers. I, like, I feel like we need to get another one. <laughs> Look hey, at all of them. We need to get one for me. Yeah. I'm tired of riding the old one. <laughs> you don't like the 98? No. Are you serious? Well, yeah. pick one out. What do you want? What do you want? Yeah, you the want that one? Any? The mini or any? I look good on it. Yeah, I you think so? I feel good on it. I would really like to test one of these out. I don't know, cause they're belt driven, right? So it's not like the Honda. Yeah, so true. Definitely would like to check one of these out one day. I don't know how well they are, how good they run, but super sick. But we got the little foilers. Let's go over here and look at some of the other units they have here. Here's a whole line of side-by-sides. I definitely want a new X3. I don't know if this year it's gonna happen. We might have to wait on it. But bro, check these things out. That RS looks good. That's the same one Kyle bought right here. That's pretty slick looking. All stock and factory. I don't know if I'd go with that color, but that blue is nice. You got the new XMR colors four door that's pretty sick i don't know side by sides probably gonna wait so we're not gonna look at them too much but i am gonna be getting hopefully a couple new four wheelers this year and uh we got quite the amount to choose from i really like this xt i think this yeah this is an 850 xt if i could get a 1000 xt like that that would be honestly perfect i do not like how the xmrs are the same colors as last year really the only difference is they changed these headlights i mean 
That's literally the only change. You mean to tell me we waited a whole year just to get new headlights? Kind of crap. Bro, look at this blue. That is sexy. That is so sexy. Is this, what is this, 850 XT? I bet you could get this in a 1000 XT short frame. That is, uh, that's a good looking unit if you ask me. They got a whole line of 850s over there, XMRs. I don't care nothing for them. Wait, look at all these. Look how many 850s they have. One, two, three, four. Five. They literally have so many XMRs. Oh, this gray right here looks pretty good too. That's another 850 short frame XT in the gray. Uh, I like the blue better, but that gray is that gray's pretty slick. See what we got down the line. We got some uh, scramblers. That is a big four wheeler. Bro, so ugly? it is pretty ugly. So look. Ugly. Look, I ordered one of those last year. No way. Yeah, I just never bought it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna get one of these. It's the best, supposedly it's the best and baddest foiler Polaris makes. I just, I couldn't justify spending the money on it because those things are expensive. Expensive. Holy crap, dude. There's just so much. There's so many units. I got jet skis, side-by-sides, foilers. There's just a crap load here right now. Austin, buddy. What's with all the machines out here, dude? Need to buy one. Need to buy one? Hey, hey, we're working on it. All the outlaws, the OG outlaws, huh? That honestly looks pretty freaking mean. I don't think I've ever seen an Outlander with the outlaws on them. That is dope. Is that eight, yeah, 850. There's so many more back over this way. It's insane, but we're gonna run to the very back. We're gonna go search for my Outlander. I actually already got the key to it, so uh, let's run back here and see if we can find it. We're coming back here to service. We got quite the amount of machines to go through. I don't even know if I remember what the Outlander looks like. It has been so long. You see it? Nope. I don't see it at all. There's foilers over here. Is that it? That's it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the RJWC parts. <laughs> there it is. Way in the back. The Outlander. It's been a while. She definitely needs a wash. It's been running on one cylinder for like the last six months. Apparently it was just a spark plug. Kind of crazy. I thought I checked spark and I thought both of them had spark, but apparently not. First startup. Please tell me that battery ain't dead. There we go. Oh. Gotta let her warm up for a second. Bro, that RJWC sounds so good. Let's see if we can get it out of here. You gonna fall off? Don't try to make me fall off. There's a new Defender. Oh, shoot. Holy shit. We gotta check that out. I have yet to see a new Defender in person. This is the same color I ordered and everything. No way. Yeah, that is slick. Look at the new door handles. Ooh. Thank God. The old doors, that was so smooth. Wait, the old feel. doors were garbage. Get you a fill, get you a fill. Dude! Right? Wait. Oh, yeah. It actually shuts. Oh, yeah. No way. Let's check these things out. They're so much more narrow now. It's crazy. Look at the door handle on the inside. Nice. No more, like, freaking stuffing your fingers in this random hole to open the door. You got your window switches right there. You got your grab handle right here. That's dope. I think that's the only thing that's changed. Yeah. Really? That, that That's it. The doors. They now have this colored panel, which is really pretty. I feel like there's so much more room to see out of. You want to see what you're really going to like, Christian? What's that? Back windows no that way. roll down, bro. Let's go. Is that not sick? Bro, that's a sexy looking unit. They not only switched the doors, I think they now have better suspension and they come with 30s instead of 28s, which is sweet. Hell yeah. All right, let's get this thing on the trailer. Now, let's go to Busco, baby. Oh, boys, we have made it. We are out here at Busco. Check it out, this beautiful place. We got the foilers on the trailer. We gotta get the Honda off. We gotta get the Outlander off. This thing has been broken for so long. It's gonna be an interesting ride in the day. But I did bring the waders. We were gonna mud today, but I kinda, I forgot something. We don't have any drain plugs on it. The drain plugs are out. So if we go in deep water, she is sunk. But there's a bunch of tracks. I definitely wanna go hit the drag strip. There is a bunch of tracks out here like uh, for, for jumping little dirt bikes and stuff. So I wanna go hit those. We got the tractor man out here grooming. Let's get these things off. Throw on the GoPro. Let's go rip. This is about to be fun right here. I have not rode this thing in so long. It's crazy to think last time I sunk it. We got to go visit where I sunk it at today. Oh, it's going to be weird coming off the Honda. I can already tell you one thing. This thing is so loud. I, don't, I can't even hear myself think, bro. I don't know what, what's going on with this exhaust, but I feel like it's a lot louder than it's ever been. Let's go see what this track looks like. I freaking almost died one day over here on my X3. I think it was that jump. Let's hit this thing. Oh my. Holy shit. Bro, are you serious? Dude. So much power. Oh, it's been too long. This thing will get you in trouble, bro. It, it literally has so much power, it'll get you in trouble. Every time, like, I hop on this thing for the first time in a while, it is just insane. It, it, it's a freaking ripper. Oh my god. It's literally just spinning the back tires. I'm a little tense. It has been a way too long of a time to tire ride. Look at this thing. It's just freaking ripping. Bro. 
true. Why would you ever need a 1000? Like coming off the Renegade, hopping back on this, it feels like it doesn't have enough power. But that is quite ridiculous. Let's roost them. Let's send it over the jump. Holy crap, let me catch my breath, y'all. We gotta go hit the drag strip. I just gotta like full blown four wheel drive launch this thing. Christian, you might have to ride this thing. I forgot how much power it puts out. It is insane. I don't wanna like give away anything on where I'm, what I'm buying next, but it's gonna be bigger than the 850, I promise you that. And I'm starting to rethink things. <laughs> Throw on this helmet, Christian. Don't, don't die, Christian, all right? That's freaking fun. I forgot how rowdy that thing is. <laughs> you could seriously get hurt on that if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know if this ain't meant to be jumped, but we're jumping it. Oh, baby. Is that not wild? That is fun. Crazy, bro. No, oh, I've never done that before. What do you think? No, it's a lot of power. Dude, it's a hell of a lot. Oh, bro, they don't Insane. even know. Oh, you're in four-wheel drive, too. <laughs> I was freaking whipping, Two-wheel drive will freaking just toss it. Really? Oh, yeah. I was having fun freaking <laughs> sliding the berms. Hell, yeah. That was great. We are definitely taking this thing to the drag strip. We gotta go rip it on the drag strip. Like we definitely need to do some test runs with this real quick. And eco mode and sport mode and normal mode and all the modes. Sport is a freaking beast. I'm thinking about getting my girlfriend Bree a four-wheeler. Definitely gotta go Can-Am. But I mean the 850, you gotta be careful. But the thing is, you can still buy one of these things and either use the dummy key that tops out like 45 miles an hour or possibly even just keeping it in eco mode or normal mode. But sport mode is insane. Drag strip kind of looks a little rough. Looks like he's working on it right now. Let's go find somewhere else to freaking rip it. Look at all the seagulls. I'm getting them things. <laughs> Look at how many there is. That's crazy. Let's see. Where can we drag race these things? We can go up on this top lot. Yeah, no one's up here at this top lot. We'll go up here. To, yeah, right here. Four wheel drive. Oh, nope. I just threw it in sport. All right. Four wheel drive's on. Now right, let's build up some boost. Drop it. <laughs> that is nutty. Take her out of four wheel drive. Let's do some little. I ain't done wheelies in a while. Woo! Hand drag. Oh, I missed it. Hand drag. Yes, sir. See if we can't get a better hand drag going. So bumpy. See, this looks a little bit smoother. It's a good little hand drag. Well, this thing's just quite literally insane. All right, let's do a full drive pull and normal mode. Take off sport. Now watch this. This is how crazy the difference between sport and regular is. I don't know. That's kind of freaking dead, isn't it? Wow. Okay. We got to try eco now because that still got after it. All right, here's sport or here's eco. What the full throttle right now? Starting to pick up. Yeah, there it's going. Like it's almost better on the higher end. Well, not better than sport, but bottom end, you got nothing. Sport almost like just gives you that torque. Go check out the pond. I wish we could go in it. I literally forgot the plugs this morning at home. I had them at the house whenever I dropped it off to PE, they weren't on it. I just totally forgot to grab them. Let's go to the 50-50 hole. But well, we are gonna be taking this thing out mudding tomorrow at my new property, which will be super, super sick. Taking in the big pond, the big swamp. It's gonna be like a mini Busco, minus the sand and the name Busco. <laughs> Something's dead. Look at all the buzzards. It just completely cut off on me. It ran out of gas. I think it ran out of gas. Like, it just started bogging and it serious? just cut off on its own. I swear. Yeah, I remember when I said, oh, we got enough gas. <laughs> I lied. I lied! I don't remember. It literally just cut off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We haven't made it to the 50-50 yet. Nope. I guess you can tow me over there. I don't have a tow rope. <laughs> I can push you. I guess you're riding the freaking Outlander. Double up, baby. Let's go. <laughs> we gotta get that thing back to the truck. Well, when you don't have a tow rope, I guess we're just gonna have to push them. 
That's why you always buy a four-wheeler with bumpers. What? I told you we need a gas. You want to push it? No. You want to push it? Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I'll let you push it. I can't believe we forgot fuel. Well, there's the truck. Looks like we didn't get too far away. Hey, turn yourself around. Turn! Ah. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Hold your brakes. Hold what you got. Uh, Christian, with your big ass, you need to help push. You're still holding the brakes, aren't you? No. Yeah, don't dip it to jump. Scoop it up, jump, jump. Scoop it up, scoop it up. One four-wheeler down already. That didn't take long. Hi, right, Christian, you riding? You riding, bitch? You know what I'm riding. I know what you're riding. Have fun, buddy. Oh, let's go check out the 50/50. I sunk this one in the 50/50. I remember now. Yeah, it's all coming back to me. Let's roll the cliff. <laughs> Your boy likes sending it too much. Straight up tossed it, bro. I remember that. That was a great, great day. Bro, I swear, I was feeling myself that day, son. Had all the people out there watching. Nobody was hitting it because it was so bad. Nobody wanted nothing to do with it. And I rolled up and I'm like, let's send it. Just started sending the shit out of it. I went there like five times and then the 50-50 finally caught up with its odds and got me. But it really, honestly, it was, that was probably the only way it was going to end that day was absolutely sinking this thing because I was, uh... I was on it, son. Let's go see what the 50-50 looks like today. That looks extremely deep today. Yep, I sunk it right there. How deep is the 50-50, though? <coughs> I'm sure no one's been through it in a while, so how deep you think? Right here, it shouldn't be too bad. Four feet, three feet. Depends if I hit the rut or not. <laughs> yep, that's pretty deep. Let's keep moving. We can't hit it. I definitely would have not sunk this four-wheeler. Honestly, water didn't even get into the motor, which was kind of surprising. But Mud Bash is actually almost upon us. It is going to be a wild year this year. I don't know what machines I'm going to have for it, because literally I'm, I, I think I'm selling everything. So who knows what I'm going to end up with. I don't want another 850 XMR, even though this is so badass. Solely for the fact the only difference from this one to the new one is the headlights. That's not enough to make me change. I do have one four-wheeler in mind you guys are gonna have to uh to hold off it is something next level so cool it's a 1000 and you guys know my thoughts on the renegade you guys are gonna have to figure it out you guys will see sooner or later but uh for now we still got the audi baby that is a big ass turtle look at all those turtles look at how many there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve on that one log yeah. oh shit i did not i don't have waders on that, that looks like a mess. I think we got it. I'm not trying to get muddy neither. If we can't like mud mud, I don't really care too mud. I was just like, if I'm mudding, I want to be able to launch it. But I'm not trying to ride three hours home covered in mud. As you guys know, Busco is one of my favorite parks. But it's such a big park. Like today, we're literally here for an hour. Look at the deer. Look at that joker. Yeah. Look, there's two. There's two. They're in the water. Look at them. There's another one. Ah! Look at them. Look at them all. Look at them all. That's great. I love deer. Look at that deer. Bro, they're friendly deer. Come on. Let's go play. Look, at there's one back there too. Like this is what I want on the new property I just bought. It's like deer to get used to us riding around. Because once they're used to it, dude, it does not affect the hunting whatsoever. Like I was saying for the fifth and final time, it's such a big park and there's so many holes. Like I don't, as many times as I've been to Busco, I know my way around it, but I don't know holes specifically. I know the main holes, the bad ones that everyone always, you know, geeks about. But in terms of like all these holes, like these water holes, I don't know how deep they are. I'm not really a uh, depth checker. I just want to hit stuff. So it's always nice following other people. So riding in big groups out here is the funnest. You good? You want another one? <laughs> I'm going to be jumping the piss out of these. I wish the Honda didn't break down. I say break down, but I mean run out of fuel. Oh shit. <laughs> I can just feel Christian lift off the seat like two feet. Let's go to the party barn. Oh, I cannot wait, bro. This mud bash is going to be crazy. Dude, like, why is that holding so much water? Oh, they cleared out part. Oh. Holy shit. Are you all right? That came up and smoked my foot. It smoked my foot, too. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. That could have been real, but look, it came straight. Holy shit. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, out of there. What the hell, bro? Dude, that fun. came up and threw, went straight into our feet. Wow. Holy shit. Get that Johnny out of here. Yeah, get out of here, son. At least that's the floorboard that was already...
cracked and tore up. I gotta replace that thing. We about lost a toe there for a second. At least I'm in boots, Christians and Yeezys. It just looks very clear like they cleaned it out for more parking or something. Or maybe it's because there ain't a gazillion people here. The shit that goes on at this barn is ridiculous. There's a mud hole in here now. That's cool, I guess. This little barn attracts so many people. This place would just be loaded with side-by-sides and four-wheelers and dirt bikes and people doing crazy shit all right here. Most ride parks you can ride for like, uh, I don't know, six hours or so, and you've hit everything. So, Busco, you could ride all weekend and not hit even close to everything. Well, we're actually gonna head back to the truck. I'm super disappointed that I forgot my drain plug because I had all intentions of sending the piss out of this thing today but i can't send it knowing i'm gonna sink it i really wish i didn't forget my drain plugs we probably should have just left straight from here and went back to pe and grabbed them but uh we got we had to pick this thing up today so we figured we'd come check out busco get a good little little tour of busco real quick and uh grab this thing while we're down here because we got a lot we're doing to this thing here pretty soon so you guys got to stay tuned for it this thing's about to get sent you know it we're taking this thing to the new property and we're gonna probably sink this thing in that massive swamp so if you guys want to check that out stay tuned like and subscribe and we'll catch y'all on the next one